Hey there, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the CURL error 28. Although WordPress is a reliable content management system, it's not infallible, especially when you're making high-level customizations to the software. Therefore, you might sometimes run into WordPress errors. One of these is the CURL error 28, connection timed out. In this video, I declare to you the good news about solving this issue in WordPress using six different methods. But before we get started, I wanna let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, let's get rid of this error. Essentially, this WordPress security mechanism filters suspicious traffic and prevents it from reaching your website. Sometimes it might also be incorrectly blocking a legitimate REST API request and causing a connection timeout error. To verify if the firewall is causing the error, you'll want to disable it temporarily. This process will differ slightly depending on your chosen software. We'll show you how to do this with the WordFence plugin. In your WordPress dashboard, head to WordFence and then Firewall. Then scroll down to Web Application Firewall Status. Select Disabled from the drop-down menu and click on Save Changes. Next, we recommend checking to see if your website still shows the CURL error 28. After that, re-enable your firewall after a few minutes and see if it causes the error again. If so, consider choosing a different firewall plugin or contacting the plugin developers for further assistance. Any of the WordPress plugins on your website could be causing the connection timeout error. Since you won't know until you try them, this approach is all about trial and error. You'll need to deactivate all of your plugins and reinstall them one by one. If you have access to your WordPress dashboard, this process is pretty straightforward. Simply navigate to plugins and then install plugins and check the top left box to select all of them. Then click on deactivate in the bulk actions drop down menu and hit apply. Alternatively, if the CURL error is blocking access to your WordPress dashboard, you'll need to manually disable your WordPress plugins. To do this, connect to your site with an SFTP client such as FileZilla. Then locate your WP content folder. It should have a subfolder called Plugins. Rename this folder to Plugins Old. This will deactivate all of the plugins on your website. Next, you can log into your WordPress dashboard and reactivate each tool until you find the one causing the issue. Once you've found the problem plugin, you might consider downgrading WordPress until you can find a permanent solution. Otherwise, you can uninstall the plugin and look for alternative software for your site. An SSL certificate is an essential security feature. When working correctly, it provides an encrypted connection between visitor browsers and your WordPress website. However, an improperly installed or configured SSL certificate can cause issues on your website and block what it considers insecure requests. Therefore, it might trigger the CURL error or other SSL connection errors such as CURL error number seven. First, you can verify if your SSL certificate is installed correctly by running an SSL check with the Qualys SSL Labs test. Just enter your host name into the box and click on Submit. You'll then receive a report highlighting any issues. As you can see, our Kinsta hosting plans come equipped with a Cloudflare SSL certificate and the report shows no issues. However, if you identify a problem with your SSL certificate, you can reinstall and reconfigure it, making sure you do so properly. To be sure, you can follow these instructions on how to correctly install an SSL certificate. After that, you can check to see if this has resolved that error. A poorly configured DNS server can prevent WordPress from processing HTTP requests. This can throw the CURL error 28. You'll need to contact your hosting provider if the issue is with the DNS server itself. Your web host may be experiencing issues that prevent the server from processing requests before they time out. Since you can't control this process on your end, we recommend raising a support ticket with your host. This way, the support team can help you troubleshoot the issue and propagate the new DNS settings to put them into effect. You can also verify DNS settings on your end. This method will be appropriate if you suspect that the issue is with your device, for instance, your computer. You can adjust your DNS settings in Windows by pressing Windows plus I. Then head to Network and Internet and click on either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on how your computer connects to the Internet. Next, select the Properties option for your connection. Now open the settings for the DNS server assignment. Select Manual from the drop-down menu and click on the slider next to IPv4. In the Preferred DNS box, you can enter any of the following DNS addresses. Then add one of the others to the alternative DNS box. Remember to hit Save when you're done, and you may need to restart your computer before the changes take effect. 
outdated software or limited server resources may cause CURL requests to time out. For example, outdated PHP, CURL library, or open SSL could trigger the CURL error 28. To check on this, head to tools, then site health, then info, and then server in your WordPress dashboard. It's also important to have some awareness of your website's PHP memory limit and PHP time limit. This is because WordPress can time out when processing REST API requests if these limits are too low. As a result, this could cause a 508 resource limit is reached or CURL error. Again, your hosting provider generally sets the maximum values for these limits. Therefore, you'll need to contact them if you'd like to increase the limits. Finally, you may have tried all of the troubleshooting methods in this video, but you still see CURL error 28 connection timed out. While this can be frustrating, you have one last option, going directly to your web host for help. If you've chosen a reliable hosting provider, you should have access to different support channels such as live chat or a ticketing system. For example, at Kinsta, we provide live messaging and speedy responses. When you contact your hosting provider, make sure to give as much information as you can about the error you're seeing. Then your host will be better equipped to troubleshoot the issue. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. We offer two months free with any annual plan, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and unlimited free basic migrations from any host. Head over to kinsta.com plans to get started. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.